All right, today we are going to be doing a uh, tutorial on ECM attacks, otherwise known as Haywire attacks. I've got my little table set up here. I've got two Cheetos, and I've got an Amon, and I've got a Jammer Bashan. Uh, the Jammer Bashan is basically working as an escort for the Amon, at least an electronic warfare capability. It's tucked in right behind this cover. It can't be attacked very easily. But it's within six inches of that Amon, so it can provide the ECCM firewall reaction if something tries to haywire the Amon. Haywiring the Amon is a popular thing to do. It's a big, tough machine. If I can get it to drop die, I'll reduce its offensive capability and I'll reduce its defensive capability. So, for example, if this cheetah can haywire this Amon and I have like five other guys hanging out ready to attack, I want to haywire first. If I can haywire that thing, then everybody that's trying to attack the Amon will have an easier time hitting it or doing damage to it or maybe just doing more damage to it. So let's roll through that real quick. The Cheetah declaring the ECM attack on the man, the Amon, would turn it into an opposed roll. The Cheetah starts with its two base die. It gets a third die because it's the ECCM trait. So basically it gives it an extra die for its electronic warfare uh, actions. Now, the Amon is rolling on a 5 plus skill, and it only has 2 die. It doesn't have ECCM or anything like that. Cheetah's rolling a 4, Amon's rolling on a 5. You can kind of see how the Cheetah has a slight advantage here. Let's roll this out. Alright, so this is perfect. Cheetah rolled a 6. That 5 adds plus 1 to that 6, because that's 4 or greater for the EW skill. So basically, the Cheetah rolled a 7. The Amon did roll pretty good. That 6 is rather nice, but the 1 doesn't take it up or anything, the Amon's got an EW skill of 5 plus 4, so we're looking for 5s or higher to increase that 6 to a 7. But it's only a 6, the Cheetah is a 7. So the Cheetah wins this Haywire, and of course, with any Haywire you always roll 1 die, 1, 2, 3 does nothing, nothing. If I had rolled a 4, 5, 6, then the Amon would be Haywired and take 1 damage, but since that extra die that I rolled is just a 2, it's just Haywired. Now, just haywired is a bad thing. Now anybody else attacking this Amon is going to have an easier time because it's basically, instead of rolling two base die, it'll have its two base die, and then you drop one because you're haywired. So what can be done to stop this? Well, I've got my Amon. Let's rewind this back to where the Cheetah declared the ECM attack on the Amon. It starts out similar. That Cheetah's got three die because of the ECCM, and it also is rolling on a four plus skill now, instead of the Amon rolling for the attack, the Jammer Bashan is basically claiming ownership of that attack. Uh, the, now we'll use the Jammer Bashan's EW skill of 4+, plus, and the Jammer Bashan also has the ECCM trait, so now it's got 3 die, just like that, uh, that Cheetah. So then it, now it's kind of a leveler playing field where it's 3 die versus 3 die and all 4 plus skills across the board. Let's roll this out. All right, so the Cheetah had a really good roll, six, seven, eight. The uh, Jammer Bashan, not as good. Uh, it's a five, that one adds plus one, so it's a six. The eight certainly beats the six. The Jammer Bashan is now haywired, and we roll one die to see if the Jammer Bashan takes the damage. It doesn't, but it's haywired. Now, there's still something good that happened here. We kept the Amon from being haywired. So even though the Jammer Bashan lost that roll, at least the Amon didn't get damaged. Now in the Amon's turn, it can stomp forward and use its railguns and blow stuff up like it's supposed to. But let's say this isn't over. We got a second cheetah over here. We These cheetahs really want to get this Amon haywired. So this cheetah steps in. It's going to do basically the same thing. It's got the three die because it's got the ECCM. The Jammer Bashan has that one action and the react plus skill. And since the firewall is a reaction, it can still claim, even though it's haywired, it can claim to react to this second haywire attack. Now let's look at the uh, meat and potatoes because now we're haywired. We had to look a little closer. We start with two base die for the Bashan. It gets plus one for that ECCM trait, but it also drops one because it's haywired. So now it's three die versus two die. The Bashan set a slightly or at a slight disadvantage here. But let's roll it out. See what happens. All right, we've got a six against basically a five. So it's another win. But again, the Amon doesn't get haywired. It goes on the Bashan. So the 
the Bashan doesn't really get double haywired. You're either haywired or you're not haywired. So it keeps that same status. The only thing we do is we roll one die to see if we do one damage, and we don't. So basically, the, the Jammer Bashan took both haywire attacks. Uh, took no damage from it, luckily. Uh, and then, of course, when it comes back to these guys' turn, uh, they could do something swirly, like the Jammer Bashan could tuck in the cover here because it doesn't want to get out there because it's haywired. And, of course, this guy could move forward, and he could certainly take his attack right here. So it's really good that the Amon did not get jammed. In fact, worst case scenario, we'll back this up a little bit more. It's going to start this, this hoedown over. Let's go to this cheetah. Everybody's reset their actions. We'll start at basically the beginning. This cheetah calls in the ECM attack. This Bashan calls in the fire wall, wall to counter. Let's get it to where... Let's get it to where the Bashan wins. So this one, the cheetah would win. There we go, this will work. This one cocked a little bit, but we'll call that a three. All right, so the Bashan rolls a five and a four, adds two plus one, so that makes it a six. The two doesn't do anything. And of course, over here, the cheetah, that one doesn't do anything, the two doesn't do anything, its highest rolls a three. So now the Bashan has won the roll. So what that means is the cheetah actually gets haywired instead. It's like a counter spell in a sense. The cheetah's trying to perform its voodoo on the Amon, but the Bashan's voodoo uh, counters it, and the cheetah ends up haywired instead. Now we roll one die to see if the cheetah takes that one damage or not, and it does not, luckily. But now the cheetah is haywired. So now the jammer Bashan can say, I've used my react plus on that. And then we have the second cheetah. It can run up and try to do the same thing. And of course, now the Bashan has that action it could use. So let's do it again. And of course, the cheetah has a really good roll. And this would win. But instead of the Yaman being haywired, the jammer Bashan would be haywired. Let's set it up to make the cheetah lose. All right. This is a good losing roll for the cheetah. Cheetah rolled a three. These twos don't count. It's basically just a three. Uh, and of course, the Bashan has an excellent roll. It's a six. These two add plus one each to that six. That becomes an eight. Eight beats the three. Now that cheetah is haywired. And we would roll one die to see if it does any damage. And luckily, the cheetah does not take damage. But now we've got a situation where this Bashan is full up. There's no damage to him. He's not haywired. The Amon is full up, there's no damage to him, he's not haywired, but the cheetahs actually ended up getting themselves haywired. And this is a very possible outcome when you're using ECM attacks and ECCM firewalls.